Well, my first ex excited tournament that I ever got to play was the City Open in Shreveport, Louisiana, where I grew up playing tennis. My dad was a club pro, was kind of well respected, had a great junior development program, and everyone knew about me and my brother coming up as kids and that we were good players. So that year, he finally let me enter in the Men's Open City Tournament. That draw kind of just miraculously wound up where my dad and I were on opposite halves of the draw, but it was tough because there were some guys along the way that I'd never beaten, and then my dad and I both made it all the way through the finals. I remember the night before and kind of being there for dinner, and the funny thing is, is I remember wanting to win so bad because I was always trying to compete against him, and the way that we had fun was the competitive atmosphere growing up. He was never the dad who was going to let you win or even have mercy on you. He was always going to put it to the to the test, and so I remember, you know, that same excitement that I feel today where I'm ready to win a big match, I remember thinking about it at that stage too. Now as an 11-year-old playing against my dad, who was a, a good player, I didn't really have the capability to win that match yet. Um, he thumped me, and it was pretty good. The funny story about it is, is at the end of the match, he was all excited about the moment, but at 11 years old, I didn't really know the moment. I didn't really understand that it was such a cool atmosphere at the time. I just remember being super disappointed that I lost. So he came in to give me a hug after the match, and I tried to give him a handshake, and he was like, give me a hug. And I said, okay. And I remember after the match, um, you know, he kind of sat me down and was talking to me and was like, hey, this was pretty cool. You know, everybody's going to be supporting you for a long time as you pursue your dreams as a professional tennis player. And to have everyone in a local environment where, you know, where we came from and all the people who still follow us today, it was a pretty touching story.